This is Scott the Fix-It Guy. Today we're dealing with the Whirlpool and Maytag bottom freezer door that doesn't seal all the way, doesn't close all the way. A lot of reasons this can happen. Sometimes it's a misalignment of the fittings that help the door close. We're going to talk about how to, how to repair some of those. If you don't fix it though, uh, warm, moist air gets through and you get this frost buildup inside your freezer and your refrigerator is working way too hard. So it's important that it is sealed. First, we're gonna remove this upper tray and it has a couple of uh, geared wheel connections on the left and right side near the back. You just take a screwdriver to press in on two tabs. This one tab is kind of hid by this trim piece, but we're going to push in with the standard head screwdriver on the two tabs while we lift up. So I'm lifting up with my right hand, pushing in with my left hand, and this is on the right hand side. And then you'll hear it click. You lift it up about a quarter of an inch, and you'll hear it click up, and that releases the geared wheel. Otherwise, <clears throat> it's impossible to get this tray out, so you have to do these two releases. It takes a little bit of effort, so you want to push in on the two tabs and then lift up. And then you want to also remove the two screws on the front of those rails on the right and left hand side near the front. There's quarter inch screws you have to remove and then you can get that tray out. So it's still not sealing, so that tray was not blocking it it wasn't in the way something else is keeping it from fully closing so it could be a misalignment of the rails so we're going to take out this bottom drawer it lifts just straight up we're going to see if we can reset the metal rails that are holding the guides that are holding the door and that's pretty easy to do there's just two tabs that we have to push in on plastic tabs and then we can pull the whole drawer assembly out. So here's one of the tabs. This is on the left hand side. I'm going to push in with my thumb and then there's one on the right. As you push in, you have to pull the metal rail out away from the freezer, out away from the fridge while you're pushing in on that little tab. Sometimes it's iced up so it takes a little bit of force to get it moving. You just tug on it and you want to release both sides and then you can pull the entire freezer door and rails out they're gonna they're gonna slide out once you've slid the door and the rails all the way out you can then make sure they're both even with each other they're symmetrical and then you can push the rails back in with the door evenly and then they should click into place and that should probably take care of your alignment problem. So I'm just pulling these two rails out slowly out of the fridge, trying to keep everything even. So it's best to get the rails all the way out and then have the right and left both go in at the same time together so it stays symmetrical. And then once you push the freezer door fully closed, the rails should lock into place. You might need to give them a little bit of a budge forward after that also to make to make sure you hear it click. So now I'm pushing the whole thing in symmetrically. We got a nice seal again. So that's that's what was causing the problem is one of those rails was misaligned. And I'm gonna give it a little push to make sure I get the click on both sides. And that locks it in. Yeah, so now we have a nice seal again. We don't have any moist air sneaking in and the refrigerator is not going to be overworking. Sometimes the door is also just blocked by food items, like there might be a big uh, box of peas or ice cream or something that's blocking it from fully closing. So that's the first thing to check. If that doesn't do it, you can do this, this procedure where you take out the drawers 
and then you take out the freezer door and the rails and then you reinstall it. it usually helps with the alignment so we have uh, the door back in the lower basket and the upper basket we're gonna push it back in we have to lift up on the upper plastic rail a little bit to get this upper drawer back in. So I'm gonna lift up a little bit to make room. And the reason we can lift it up is we removed two screws in the front. We have to make sure we put those in when we're all done. So I got the left hand side in. I'm gonna come around here on the right and I'll lift up on the plastic rail a little bit and then I can push in the drawer. There we go. Push it all the way in. And then I've got to push down on those gear things in the back that we loosened. I just push down really hard and I'll hear it click. Did the one on the right, then the one on the left. And then lastly, we'll just have to put in the little quarter inch screws in the front. There's a little trim piece that I had to take out to un unlock that uh, left gear side. So I just put that back in. So again, we got a nice alignment. No more leak. I'm just going to put those quarter inch screws back in on the front of the upper rails. You're going at about 45 degrees. So zip that one in. That locks that rail down. I'll do the other side. Lock that down. And then you're done. It closes really good again. Thanks so much for staying till the end. Here's a little bonus material. I'm gonna warn you guys not to overfill your freezer because then the freezer door can't shut all the way and you'll get some frost buildup. Also, really would like you guys to put a power strip behind your refrigerator so if there is a big spike in voltage, it won't fry your computer. Thanks so much for watching our video. I hope that helped you to save some time and money. Hope you'll click on the subscribe link below in the description below and also then on the little bell notification so we can send you weekly videos like this one that will help you to fix the appliances around your home if you need any extra live help to help with your project just click on the link in the upper right hand corner here or in the description below they'll get you some live expert help i'll be glad to give you a call or a text or a Zoom call where we can work out any kind of problem you're having and help you to get your appliance working good in short order and save you a lot of money. So thanks again for watching and for supporting our channel and I look forward to seeing you on the next video.